Hi, I'm Shai from the North Columbus Public Library. I'm going to show you a creative way of painting. In this video, we will be painting a tree. All you need is a handful of cotton swabs, a rubber band, a canvas or canvas paper, a few paint brushes, a sponge, and four or five colors of your choice. I will be using black, gray, yellow, blue, and green. The first step is to paint a background. I'm painting the background entirely gray. Then I will take a lighter color, which in this case is yellow, and dip a piece of my sponge into the yellow. Then I will dab the yellow all over the background. My goal here was to give some light to the dark background. Of course, you can use two different colors. On a previous example, I used blue and then sponged yellow all over it to give it that cool effect. The next thing that I will do is take black paint and paint the grass at the bottom. Let it dry for a few minutes and then you can come back and paint the tree. This is probably the most taxing part of this project. You can do the tree however you want. I like to put a curve at the base of my tree and then give it quite a few branches so that I can sort of drape the leaves around them. I think the inspiration that you could think of is a willow tree. Now it's been said that willow trees represent balance, learning, growth, and harmony. They are symbols of strength and stability. Its branches are strong and flexible. So keep that in mind when you're painting your tree. As you can see throughout this part, I'm painting the outline of the tree first and getting it to where I want it, and then I'm painting the inside.
After you are satisfied with the way your tree looks, let it dry for a little while. The last part is to gather a few cotton swabs together in a cluster. You can use about five or six and tie them in the middle with a rubber band. Set aside a few single cotton swabs for details. One side of the cluster will be used for one color and the other side for the other color. You can use any two colors of your choice. For a previous example, I used burgundy and light brown. For this project, I am using blue and green. As you can see, I'm dipping one side of the cluster of cotton swabs into the green paint and then just dabbing it all around the branches. I'm leaving part of the branches exposed so that it appears like the leaves are just flowing around the branches. After applying the green, you can go in with the blue and overlap over the green, leaving some of the green exposed, of course. If you want to get finer details, you can use one single cotton swab and just dab the paint where you wish. You can use your imagination for this project. Experiment with colors, have fun, enjoy it, and most of all, relax. We are springing into summer learning at the Chattahoochee Valley Libraries, and the program you just attended is one of the ways you can earn completions. Just go to cvlga.org and look for Spring into Summer Learning. You can register yourself and your family online, and then start reading and attending our online events. That's all you have to do. We're giving away weekly gift certificates, and every completion you make enters you into a grand prize drawing for tablets, games, gifts, and more. Remember, you have to register to win cvlga.org, and we'll see you online again real soon.